Hi you guys, welcome to the video. I'm in a very different situation than I normally am in. Today I'm filming my first Get Unready With Me. I just filmed this super elaborate Ultra Music Festival inspired makeup tutorial. It's all my festival makeup. I've got a lot of glitter, lashes, all kinds of things on my face. And now I need to take all of this off. So I figured why not just show the process in case any of you are wondering like how I get my like heavy glam makeup off my face especially at the end of the night after like a festival. I do this pretty much almost every single time, even when I'm traveling, like do not go to sleep with this much makeup on your face. <laughs> it's not good for you. So I'm just gonna basically walk you guys through my nighttime skincare routine and how I take all of this off and make sure my skin is clean. So with that being said, I'm gonna put you guys down and we're gonna start the whole process. Okay, so I'm sorry if the lighting isn't that good. I'm like trying to make it better in my bathroom. It's not really helping. But anyway, so first things first, I'm gonna put my hair back because I do not like it in my face when I am taking my makeup off. Okay, second thing, lashes. I pull from the outside in and I very lightly pull like that. If they really, really feel like they're stuck on there, guys, I used to do this all the time when I was younger. It's such a big mistake. Do not yank them off your eye you will rip out so many lashes so just very gently i also start looking to the opposite side that i'm pulling and for some reason i find that they come off easier but that's step number one again you can use like a little bit of eye makeup remover on a q-tip and like rub that into the lash line to like help work it in but that's the first step so a couple things i'm mainly going to be using my pons cleansing balm this is amazing this gets so much makeup off of your skin. It's like a little balm, almost like the texture of like a coconut oil when it melts down. I'm also gonna be using my Neutrogena um, makeup remover wipes, but first off, we gotta get this off our face. So I have some face gems on here. So I'm just gonna take these off because they're just little individual gems and I don't want any of that to get in my eye. Okay, and I also have a ton of glitter on my face. So before I go into my whole routine, I get, like to take a makeup wipe. And I like to remove my glitter first, just so that that like, doesn't get in my eye when I'm like rubbing in all of my cleansers and stuff. So I'm just gonna remove it. It's only on this side today. So I'm sort of like starting the process. Oh God, glitter gets everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna stick with that. I'm gonna save this on the other side because I will use it later to like remove even more stuff. So I'm gonna take the pawns. You don't need that much. You can use whatever cleansing balm you have or if you guys prefer something else. I have like that much. I'm gonna just place it around my face. Again, this like turns into an oil, so you'll see. Then, huge key. I'm using my Duvall Spin Brush. This is the really soft cleansing brush. I have an exfoliating head when I really wanna get in there and then I also have this one. This is for your body, you use this for like, if I'm gonna do self tanning and stuff, I'll use this to exfoliate my whole body before I put self tanner on. But this is the key to getting in there. So I'm just gonna wet the head of this. Um, my skin has been much clearer lately and it's because I've been using this to either remove my makeup or I use this a lot of the time to like work in my cleanser. So we're gonna start moving this around. And I'm gonna just clean this a little bit as I go to get the makeup off of the head of the brush. But this is like really breaking up all the makeup. Okay, clean that off. All right, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna rinse my face. Oh, I forgot, I'm gonna take a tiny bit more and just put it on my lid. This doesn't burn your eyes at all, I love it. And I just rub it on my lash line as well. We're looking good. Now I pat my face dry. I don't like to tug on my skin. I'm like, now that I'm getting older, I try and be as gentle on my skin as possible. Especially around your eyes, guys. Try not to tug too much on your eyes because you're gonna be creating wrinkles. Okay, so my skin feels like very clean right now. My eyes are still a hot mess. Mascara just does that to me. I'm gonna take my Neutrogena wipe on the other side of the glitter and I just go in and lightly clean up all of the leftover mascara that's on here. 
I'm like a stickler with mascara. I hate when I feel like even a little bit is still left on my lashes. It like drives me insane. So I really like get in there. Okay fam, now our skin is naked. It feels like really clean though. So feeling good. Again, love the brush. I've been testing this out for about two weeks and I really like it. My skin texture is better. So I usually suffer from dark spots and I weirdly break out like on my cheeks and my chin because I'm hormonal right now. Um, but yeah, I do have a discount code with the Duval cleansing brush, guys. So I'll pop all the information up here and there will be a link below if you guys are interested. No pressure. Check it out if you want to, but it's a great brush. Okay, so next in my nighttime skincare routine. I take skincare, first of all, very seriously. Again, I just like really want to take care of my skin and I'm, you know, I'm going to be in my 30s soon. So I just really try and protect myself from wrinkles, from sun, from like anything that could be damaging towards my face. So I also took randomly a Sephora skincare class. They're free. You can literally look online. Sephora has all these free classes. So I learned a lot through that class. It was very interesting. Um, and that affected the order that I put all my products on. So the order you see me doing this is what I learned from Sephora professionals. The next thing up in my routine after my makeup is off is a cleanser. Uh, some people like to double cleanse, some people don't, but you know, this is where it really depends on your skin type. So my issues are acne and I'm sensitive and I'm dry. So my two that I switch between are the Clean and Clear Acne Triple Clear Cleanser. Um, this is oil free and it's got aloe in it. It's a little bit more soothing and it's kind of cool and the Biore, I I've been using this for like two years, the charcoal. Um, this one is a little bit more harsh to sensitive skin, but it cleared up my acne. So I switched between the two. Um, right now I'm gonna use this one. Let me put my hair back again. I don't know why I took it out. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pump one pump in my hand and I just put that on my cheeks and on my forehead. And then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water and rub this in. Oh, and then this is the step if I'm if I'm not like a heavy makeup day and I don't use the cleansing balm, then I'll use the Duval cleansing brush for this step to like really work in my cleanser and it's been working great. Okay, now my skin is feeling so clean, so fresh. Okay, the next thing you wanna do, again, I'm dry, so I like to go in with a toner. I've used so many different toners. The Pixie Glow Tonic was one of my favorites. I need to get that again. Um, but right now I'm just using the Rose Water Facial Toner from Trader Joe's. The Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray is also really, really good. So I'm just gonna spray my face with this. And that's just like nice and hydrating. And toner is kind of like, I think they restore the pH balance in your skin. And again, like if you're sensitive, it's it's sort of like a nice step in between the process of putting on all of your other um, lotions and serums and things like that to just sort of like restore your skin, make it feel nice and hydrated. So you can do that. Some people do it in between steps. Some people do it in the beginning, but this is just when the Sephora people told me to put it on. So that's what I do. <laughs> Okay, next up in your routine, you could do a mask at this point. A lot of people will do sheet masks. Um, I'm not gonna do that for like a festival. I wouldn't really bring a sheet mask with me when I'm traveling too much, um, but that would be the next step. After that comes your serums. So I am a big serum girl now. Um, I never used to do them in my early 20s, but there's so many different serums out there. A lot of them are a little bit pricey, so test things out. You can buy minis um, at Sephora and just try things out. I also get a lot of them in my monthly boxy charm, so like that's an easy way for me to test things out, but I have three in front of me. It just depends on my vibe. Um, this one is one I would use with me when I'm traveling because it's smaller. This is the Glam Glow Super Serum. Six Acid Refining Treatment. That one's been good. This one I've been loving. This is a glow oil, so this is really great for my dry skin and sensitive skin ladies who want their skin to just look nice and glowy and beautiful. And this is the Superberry Hydrate and Glow Oil from Youth to the People. Love that. And then I just started using this two weeks ago, um, so I'm like waiting to see the results, but I am like actively using this day and night right now or just at night. This is the Kate Somerville Biomimicking Peptides Serum. It smooths and firms. This was a full bottle in BoxyCharm and it retails for $98. Just putting that out there. So I actually might use that today. So your serum, you do not need a lot of serum, you guys. This one, you only need two drops. One, two. Then you massage it into your hands 
and you press into your skin. I always put it on my forehead. Wherever I have wrinkles, I just wanna like press it in. And always my neck. Every single night and morning, it goes on my neck. So that's done. Next comes your eye cream. That's always next in the line. So I have been using the Sephora Brightening Eye Cream and I absolutely love it. I just bought a backup one. Uh, start using eye creams now, unless you're like literally a teenager watching this. Um, you are just saving yourself from getting wrinkles in the future and it will help brighten your under eyes. So here's the key that they told me. You wanna tap right under your eye. Do not go too close to your eye. This is not supposed to go up under here. It goes on your sort of like your cheekbone. And we're gonna tap that in. So you keep it kind of nice and low and then I bring it up and around my inner corner of my eye socket and over my brow bone and I drag it up and out. That's what the Sephora girl taught me. She actually did it like this. She said you put it down here and you go in a circular motion and you hold your brow bone up and you go like that. Again, not coming too close to the eye or going like kind of down and around it. And then recently I've been taking a tiny bit and putting it on my smile lines because I'm just like really hoping that this helps reduce the wrinkling, <laughs> but we'll see. <sighs> then the last step is moisturizer. Some people might put other serums or like other layers on their face, but again, this is like kind of my regular everyday routine. So I have so many different moisturizers. It depends on how my skin is feeling, but my favorite one that's like really rich and nourishing is the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. This smells heavenly. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. I only take a tiny bit. I put it right there and right there, and I might take a tiny bit more and put it on my chin. A Nikita moisturizer, you want to rub out and up. Out and up, you want everything to go up. You don't want to pull anything down. So I'm just gonna rub that in. We put it on our forehead, rub up. Again, you don't wanna tug on your skin too hard. Same with the neck, don't forget the neck. Sometimes I use um, a roller. I do have a roller for depuffing. And then my last step, I just press it in to my skin. And now I feel nice and hydrated. Everything's locked in. That's my last step. Wait. I lied to you guys, I forgot I do two more things. <laughs> so I do put the Laneige lip sleeping mask on every single night, it's in my nightstand. It's just like a nice thicker mask for your lips. And then I've been doing this lately, I just bought this like a week ago, so it's very new, but um, Kathleen Lights is one of my favorite beauty YouTubers. She did a collection with Briogeo and they made three different aromatherapy essential oils. I saw it online and I didn't even think to buy it because that's like not my thing. And then it was in the little checkout aisle at Sephora and I was like, Kathleen, because I just want to support my favorite YouTuber. So I was like, I'm buying her essential oils. These smell so fucking good. Oh my God, this is the lavender one. So lavender is for like chilling you out and mellowing you out. So I put this one on my wrist before I go to sleep so I can sort of smell it while I'm sleeping. So I just rub it there and sometimes on my temples. Nice inhale of that and you just like zen the fuck out and it's good. The scent doesn't last that long so you do have to reapply it but this the kit came with three different scents. There was a rose one and a one that was like citrine. That one actually might be my favorite. It's really good. I have it in my purse when I go to work because anytime I'm stressed I put it on and then I just smell my wrists. <laughs> So anyway, you guys, that is the full get on ready with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. I have never really done anything like this on my channel, but now you know my full nighttime skincare routine and how I take off all of my super heavy festival makeup. Again, everything I use today will be listed below if you're interested. And you guys can go pick up the Duvel Spin Brush if you guys are interested. I have a code to save you some money. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. I think spin brushes are really good to clean your face and everything like that and really get in there. And so far, my skin's looking pretty freaking good. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would also love it if you guys would subscribe and hit that post notifications bell so you are notified every single time that I upload. And I think that's it. You can follow me on social media. I'll pop it up in here. And I'm going to go to bed now. So I hope you guys all have a good night. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.